We introduced a digital and design technology program about four years ago. I really didn't know what it was going to look like. I didn't really know what I wanted it to be. So the key to it was employing people, employing teachers that in fact wanted to take a risk, that wanted to have a go at something, that wanted to try something new and go in a new direction. We look at digital technologies as just another thing in our toolkit. It is integrated in everything that we do. If you want to uh, explore something, you want to share something, you want to create something, there are plat multiple platforms, multiple ways of doing it here, and every single student is taken care of. And they can pursue things independently in small groups and whole classes. They can explore it in clubs after school. They can explore it with supportive teachers. Everybody here can basically choose what they would like to do and how they would like to do it. We have seen the Digital Technologies curriculum merely as an affirmation of what we do. We've seen it as a confirmation and a permission, if you like, for us to pursue the digital technologies curriculum in our own way, make it our own. We're very, very focused here on developing a localised curriculum and having digital technologies integrated throughout just seemed to fit us perfectly. I was designing really, I thought they were really good lessons, pretty sophisticated, and yet uh, what I would see them do in those spaces like Minecraft and virtual worlds outside of school uh, was a lot more sophisticated than when I was planning for them. So I learned to really start co-constructing my lessons with kids. I took all of that uh, knowledge that I brought and looked at the uh, system here at the school and what they were trying to do and build a digital design program that really brought the kids into making the decisions. By not restricting them, by telling them what to do, their passion starts to drive what they're doing. For example, um, in this class I have a student who taught me something I didn't know about 3D printing. She came in and said, I want to do a low poly model. And I've been 3D printing with kids for some time and like, what, what, what is that? And uh, she taught me something new about 3D printing I didn't know. Not only that, she went, uh, she decided on a program that is a developer's level tool, one that I have used and find really quite hard. I, I could not teach her um, how to use that. Um, she, not, she, she took it home, she worked on it at home. Uh, she even, unbeknownst to me, <laughs> had paid attention to what software I used to prepare the models for the printer. She downloaded that, taught herself about that, came back with this beautiful low poly uh, model of a cat and, and instructed me when I was preparing it for the printer what the density should be. Um, so I started off from scratch and I used the 3D software called Blender and um, I was interested in animals so I decided to make a cat. <laughs> Sometimes the students like to take over teaching as well. <laughs> Many of the teachers here have the philosophy that they don't know everything. All I know that as the leader of the school, I employ people that are open to learning all the time. Learner agency is very important here and that applies to both students and staff. Here at Newlands, um, I've got uh, an ongoing project. I'm working with them, helping the teachers um, implement the digital technologies curriculum in innovative ways uh, and develop more learner agency as part of the process. So it's not just a, another content area, it's an opportunity to do some really cool things. We're having a go at doing project-based learning um, one day a week, the whole school, and we're looking at ways to hand more power over to the students in how they drive their own learning journey and the digital curriculum and digital tools are seen as ways of supporting that. So it's not so much about the tools, it's about the amazing um, development and key competencies that can occur um, by, by trying some of these new ways of learning and, and working. I really love that there's no end to it, so you, there's so many possibilities of what you could do and that you can just do anything you put your mind to. I really like doing the digital art, so we took photos and put layers on layers and edited it. I think it will help me because I'm on the, everyone's just, everything's changing into digital stuff now, so you never know what all the skills you're learning might come in handy.